We're back. It's 848. More than 8 million people travel by plane every day. That means there are millions of germs flying around, too. So how do you stay healthy when you fly? It's one of the things Dr. Mehmet Oz is tackling on his show this week. Dr. Oz, good morning. Good morning. Very timely. I don't like to think about those germs, but... Let's talk about it. It's not just germs. Lots of things you should be paying attention to when you travel. For example, when you yep. book your seats on the plane, not all seats are created equally. Hopefully this won't come up much, but if you're worried about water landings, get above the wings. If you're worried about crashing nose dive first into the mountaintop, which doesn't happen, thankfully, very often, then make sure you're in the very back of the plane. But more importantly, always feel confident because the pilots and the co-pilots don't eat the same meals. That's interesting. Isn't I didn't cool? know that. So yeah. In case one is, yeah. has food poisoning We've or something. We've seen all the movies. It yeah. can't happen anymore. And alcohol is a big issue because there's less oxygen tension in the plane even though it's pressurized. So every alcoholic beverage you have has twice the effect so be careful when you're drinking. I've noticed that. I've noticed that effect. You also, we did talk about germs, and you've got to keep that air circulating. What do you mean by that? So a lot of people think that the person next to them is the only one who will get them sick. It turns out that the person diagonally in front of you can also get you sick. In fact, the person on the opposite side of the plane can do the same. So take the air vent. Don't blast it on your face. You don't need to. Medium power on your chest. Keep the air moving because the air has been cleansed when it goes through the filter system. So you oh. want that to protect you if it can. Okay. Other things to be worrying about are the headrest. We did our own little survey on this. This is the dirtiest part of the plane. Oh gosh! And so make sure you have that little piece of cloth or napkin behind your head. And this is important. The things that you take for granted, the, the, the tabletop in front of you, the air vent above you, they're really dirty. They never get no, cleaned. You have to clean those off. When you go to the bathroom, you know how that flushes in there. Yeah. Either take a cloth and or, or napkin to do with that, or do your little comfort move with the flush. With the flush. Yeah, yeah. That works. Big. Really well. Big foot flusher That's a nice over foot here. Thing. I want to oh, see that thank again. you. Yeah, no, I got Boom. it. I got it. I've been working out it in aerobics. Okay, let's talk about other modes of transportation. So, a lot of folks, when they go through the turnstile, they're getting on a bus, they, they think their gloves are, are going to keep them immune. It's a false sense of security. Your gloves actually trap microbes as well. You really should wash your gloves you know, once a month at least, mm -hmm. which most people never in their whole life will ever wash their it's gloves. That's true. That's right. The other thing you want to do is make sure if, they, if you're going to take your cell phones around, which we all do, that you clean it because it's dirtier than the bathroom. In almost every study ever done, this is the dirtiest place you're going to have. It makes sense, but in, I don't think people do it too often. They don't. And it's so simple to do it. You don't have to do, you know, use something complex. Just yep. wipe it down and keep your hands out of your pockets because the germs are in your fingers, in your pockets. They contaminate your pockets. The next time you go out, you'll re be contaminating yourself. I got 20 seconds for the hotels. Can you do it? Stay away from the courtesy glasses in the bathroom. They never clean that well. If they, unless they're plastic or wrapped already, wipe off the remote control, put it in a little plastic bag, which is what I do, a little Ziploc, and remove the bedspread, toss it away. That thing never gets clean. Oh, wait, you have what's over here? Yeah. And in my last five seconds really quickly get up and walk if you're going to travel for more than two hours stretch yeah. your legs out drink a lot of water and get those little hand wipes yeah. or sanitizers they're worth the investment and always flush with the foot dr Oz, Boom. thank you so much he's going to have a lot more on his show starting today check your local listings coming up next stirring up romance sweet treats to get you in the mood for valentine's day but first this is today on nbc Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.